for only the royal angst, meaning eternal life. But not everyone was as pleased with Akhenaten as the sun. Akhenaten's religion is very, very unsatisfactory for the ancient Egyptian populace because he does not address the question of death and the afterlife. He ignores it utterly. And so when you die, you sleep and you cease to exist. This is not what the ancient Egyptians want to hear. They've been dealing with an, a religion that is all about encapsulating their soul in materiality. It's about their existence in the future. And if you just ignore one of the chief problems of, of humanity, which is death, that we're all going to die, your, your religion will not last. As Akhenaten continued his reign, he became more involved with his religious ideas and he began making more drastic changes. He changed his original name from Amenhotep IV to Akhenaten to focus on his new god. And then he relocated the center of his administration to a place not sacred to any other god. And he called it Akhet Aten, the horizon of the sun. Soon he had the names of other gods removed from monuments around the country. Many people, including officials of the court, made the move northward with him. But it is clear the new beliefs were too unconventional for his subjects, who after 17 years rejected him and his religion and returned to Thebes. The biggest mistake, in my opinion, that Akhenaten did, that he made the Egyptian to worship the new god through him is only Atom, the power behind the sun, is giving the hand to him and he's giving it to the people. Then when he died, the Egyptian could not find the connection.